Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Uh, today's beer, Hot Butcher for the World. This is their Taffy Pool. Sent to me by Jeremiah. Uh, guys, this is a uh, an IPA. Uh, according to the can here, Taffy Pool is a Citra Hop Saltwater Taffy IPA brewed with sea salt and vanilla. 7% alcohol by volume and it says it was packaged on 040422. Uh, it says by old, old Stone Cold. Uh, very, uh, very unique uh, label for this one. Uh, kind of eye-catching. Uh, the uh, of course, these guys are up near Chicago, and they produce outstanding beers, guys. Uh, if you've been not under a rock, you, you probably have heard that or seen that by now. Uh, the commercial description on Untapped is the uh, same thing that's on the front of the can here, guys. So we don't have any IBUs, and the pictures here, it looks super cloudy, super hazy. Uh, uh, almost looks like a, a milkshake type beer so we getting ready to find out so let's pop the top and see what we got all right setting out on the net out on the uh the deck with my brother dennis got out of the hospital and doing well so uh i wanted him to taste this all right well All right, guys. Taffy pull. Uh, <coughs> finger and a half on that. Yeah, it's very cloudy. It looks like a New England style. I don't know if I would jump to the milkshake style. It's not quite uh, to that appearance to me, though, guys. Uh, and they don't mention any lactose or anything like that. But it's super cloudy. It looks like orange juice. It looks like their typical New England style beer. Mm -hmm. To the nose we go. Oh yeah, I mean that's got a very candy-esque strawberries, big time strawberries, maybe a little peaches. Yeah, vanilla, strawberries, and peaches. Strawberries is prominent, I mean that's big time strawberries. That smells awesome, making my mouth water. All right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jeremiah. Everybody, hot butcher. You guys rock. Got a little twang to it too. Wow. Almost got like a little bit of peppermint there. Wow. It is a tart strawberry. Well, that's definitely different. Definitely different. I mean, the nose is pretty much strawberries and strawberries, but the taste is it's got some tartness to it, too. And I'm sure the sea salt. There is some taffy s quality to it. I mean, I, I can see where they're going with this. I mean, yeah. Taffy, no doubt. I'm going to sip one. Let my brother Dennis taste it. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. A little bit left here. Decent beer, guys. I mean, I think I have something floating in my beer from outside.
one of those little beer naps. Alright guys, it's a tasty beer. It's not blowing my hair back on my socks off. It's tart strawberry to me, so not really my cup of tea on this particular one, but still well made and very enjoyable. I'm glad I got to try this. Uh, wouldn't be something I'd want to drink every day, but it is, I mean, some of you guys that like some of this really tart stuff, it's not super tart, but the tartar beers. Uh, this one, I think, uh, jumps into that entry level of a little tartness there. Very unique combination. Something very different. Final choke. For all you saltwater taffy fans, uh, this beer probably falls pretty good in that carry. So, if you're into the saltwater taffy, a beer that uh, resembles that taste, uh, this will probably be a good one. So, with that being said, guys, to me, uh, a minus, I'm going to give it a 90. Uh, it does have the ABV, the hops, and uh, the canned on date on it. Uh, beer app can only have three people, no grade. Over to Untap, they have it at 3.94. So in their upper end of their B plus range. Yeah. I think it gets it gets there. I mean, it's it's not representing something that it's not. Uh, they're telling you it's tappy pull, you know, sea salt and all this. and. Uh, Vanilla and mango, so uh, vanilla, yeah. I'm getting strawberries, mango, yeah, maybe a little bit of that. So, I mean, it's uh, it is what it says it is, guys. Uh, I was getting mango, so I mean, uh, strawberry, so uh, maybe there is mango there, but I'm it was just definitely heavy strawberry on the nose when I first opened it up, not so much at the end, but definitely smelt like strawberries to me. So, if you've had taffy pool from Hot Butcher. Let me know what you think. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.